Hey gang, Jack Lair here again, uh, just with another pickups video, I know. This whole thing started, uh, probably wouldn't have had pickups this week, but my niece had never been to a flea market near us that is called Trader's Village. Been to it many times, showing you guys some footage. And her dad, my brother-in-law, basically said, uh, well, hey, why don't we go? So they got in contact with me, said, hey, you know, do you want to go too? I said, great, we'll pile up the boys, we'll all go, we'll go have fun. So that's how it all started. Now, we went there and uh, it, it rained earlier in the day and it was holding off. We got there and it just started this light little drizzle and found some pretty good deals. Uh, let me start out with the games from Trader's Village. All right, I got a whole stack of uh, PS1 games and I uh, started out, I didn't have any of these and I had my phone with me so luckily I was able to check. Uh, Austin Powers Pinball. Virtual Pool, Putter Golf, and this one doesn't have the manual, but uh, what is it? Disney's Hercules, Frogger, and somehow I didn't have this one, Tomb Raider 2. So I believe I now have almost all the Tomb Raider games. I think I'm still missing Legacy or Underworld, one of the two. But all of these uh, originally walked up and I was like, hey, how much are the CDs? And he's like, oh, 50 cents each. And then when I picked them up, he's like, oh, those are games. I was like, okay, well, how much are games? He's like, oh, they're a the dollar each. I'm like, all right, well, a dollar each is still a great deal. And then he says, you know what? I'll go ahead and six for five. And I'm like, sweet. So five bucks. All those games, very good deal. <clears throat> now, along the way, my brother-in-law, of course, challenged his daughter to do this. I know, right? <laughs> I, I love them. They're, I love all my family. They're just awesome to be around and they're so much fun to go anywhere with. Uh, of course, while that was going on, my son was doing this. And while he was doing that, we were looking through DVDs. Uh, we were looking through uh, Blu-rays, they were looking for a few specific ones, Matrix, Titanic, some of their favorite movies. And I was, we were about to go and I was just kind of flipping through. And then I happened upon a DVD that I would want and I held it up and said, how much? And he went, five dollars. And I instantly responded with, sold. No haggling, nothing. Now, some of you are going to scoff, but Witchblade is a series that my wife and I watched and we absolutely loved it. It stars uh, Yancey Butler and um, a bunch of other people. And this is the complete s series. This is season one and two. Uh, the, ah, well, that'll spoil it. But um, the cool thing is, is that one of my friends, Patrick, actually spotted the guy that's in every episode that's not a main character, which was weird. Uh, go ahead and Google or just watch the series and see if you can find them too. After that, we went to lunch, uh, said, hey, do you mind if we swing by a uh, thrift store that I know of? They said, sure. And now all of the, the Super Nintendos were gone, but I did manage to snag a Super Nintendo controller for $1.91. And also picked up uh, three, three 64 games. Got uh, Army Men, Sarge's Heroes, so be playing that later on. Uh, for two ninety two, got a copy of Banjo Kazooie. I already have a copy, so this copy, I'll either sell it or trade it on, or pass it off to a friend. And because I didn't have it, and it looks like a fun game for my son and I to play, A Bug's Life. 
Uh, if you'll notice, I buy games spanning the realm of anything just because I have a four-year-old, a ten-year-old, and then I have me. So I have to get games that appeal to all or just one of us. But uh, that's it. So not a bad day for spending, what, five, ten, a little over twenty bucks. A little over twenty bucks in uh, nine games and a controller and a DVD with an entire series. Uh, if, if you do get a chance, check out Witchblade. Uh, it's not for everybody. Obviously not. Uh, it is loosely based on the comic book. I say loosely, very loosely. There is a Witchblade. That's about where it ends. Um, but that's it for me. As always, thank you very much for watching and uh, play on.